Okay, we're going to cover even and odd functions. So we say that a function is even if f of negative x equals f of x for all x. In other words, there's like a reflection across the y-axis here. So everything to the left of 0 is going to look the same as everything to the right of 0. So how we can prove this, well, we can take a look at a graph and we can check visually, or we can do this algebraically. So this is the graph of f of x equals x squared. So what we need to show is that f of negative x is equal to f of x if this is even. So what we can basically do is we can start with f of negative x. So this just means that wherever we see x in our original function, we're going to replace it with negative x. So this will be negative x squared, which is the same thing as negative x times negative x. That gives us positive x squared, and our original function, f of x, was x squared. So because negative f of x is equal to f of x, we know that this is going to be an even function. So let's try this same problem with something that's a little bit different. It's not too different, but we have 3 minus x to the 4. So to prove this is even, we need to start with g of negative x and show that we just get g of x back. So same thing. We're going to take every instance of x in our original formula, replace it with negative x, so we get 3 minus negative x to the fourth. This is going to be 3 minus, well, negative x times negative x, that's a positive. Negative x times negative x, that's another positive. And then two positives will make a positive. So this will be 3 minus x to the four which is the same thing as our original function, g of x. So because we have that these two functions are equal to each other, it is going to be even. So this is the process for checking even functions. Now, for odd functions, we have to check to see if f of negative x is equal to negative f of x. So this is like a mirror image diagonally across the origin. So for these odd functions, we do something very similar. We start with f of negative x. So we do some algebra, and then we're going to show that it's negative f of x. So if f of x in this function is x cubed, negative f of x, we're just going to put a negative in front of it. So negative x cubed is what we're looking for. So oh, with f of negative x, we're just taking all of our x's here and x to the cube, replacing them with negative x. So this is negative x to the 3. Uh, so in other words, this is kind of like saying, I'll show you another way, negative 1 cubed times x cubed. Well, what is negative 1 cubed? That's negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1, which gives us negative 1 x cubed. What do we know here? This is the same thing as negative f of x. So because these two functions are equivalent, f of negative x and negative f of x, we can therefore claim that this is an odd function. So let's do one more example here. g of x is equal to x to the fifth plus x. Now the reason I want to show you this one is because we need to get g of, or sorry, negative g of x. Now, how we do this is we negate the entire function. So that's x to the fifth plus x. What we need to look for is negative x to the five minus x. So we're not just negating that first term. So let's start with this, g of negative x. And every time we see an x, we're going to replace it with negative x. So negative x to the fifth plus negative x. We take ne negative x to a, an odd power. We're just going to be left with negative x to the 5. We're adding negative x, so that's the same thing as subtracting x. So what we see here is what we wanted originally. So we get negative g of x. And now, because our two formulas are equal to each other, we can therefore claim that this is odd. So that's how we do odd functions. Now let's do some practice problems. 
and you're basically checking in each of these, is it even, is it odd, is it both, is it uh, neither? So for the first one, let's check to see if it's even. So this is one minus the cubed root of x. So in other words, what we need is f of negative x to equal f of x. So if we say f of x is equal to one minus the cubed root of x, then we already know what our f of x is. So let's put a negative x in there to see what happens. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to rewrite this as one minus x to the one third, just because I prefer fractions over cubed roots. This is the same thing as the cubed root of x. So what we can do is we can put negative x in here. So one minus negative x to the one third. Well, this is going to be the same thing. Well, what do we have here? We have a negative x to a cubed root. So we're not actually going to get the same thing, are we? No, we're not. So because we're not going to get the same thing, we're just subtracting 1 minus negative x to the, to the third root, which is pretty much what this says right here. We're done. It is not going to be even. What about odd? So here we want to check if f of negative x is equivalent to negative f of x. Well, in this case, let's figure out what negative f of x is. So we negate the whole thing. So this would be negative 1 minus x to the 1 third, which would be equivalent to, uh, we're going to get x to the 1 third minus 1. So do we get that? Well, we already know what f of negative x is. It's 1 minus negative x to the 1 third. And is this the same thing as that right there? x to the 1 third minus 1? The answer is no. So this is going to be not odd. So this function is neither even nor odd. Okay, what about b? 3x cubed plus 2x squared plus 1. Maybe this one we'll have some luck with. So we'll check for evenness. So we need to check to see, and let's make this g of x, so we can use a different variable. We need to check that g of negative x is equivalent to g of x. So what we'll do is we'll replace all of our x's with negative x's. So this is going to be 3 times negative x cubed plus 2 times negative x squared plus 1. So what does this give us? This gives us 3 times negative x cubed so this is going to be negative 3x cubed plus 2 times negative x squared. It's going to give us 2x squared. Negative x times negative x gives us a positive plus 1. So we do see a difference here. Here we get negative 3x squared. So this is not going to be even. What about if it's odd? So the nice thing is that we already know what g of negative x is because we've already calculated it. It's going to be negative 3x squared, or sorry, negative 3x cubed plus 2x squared plus 1. So what is negative g of x? So here we're just going to take the negation of our original function, 3x cubed plus 2x squared plus 1. And if we distribute that negative in, we're going to get negative 3x cubed minus 2x squared minus 1, and these two here are not the same thing. So this is also not odd. So neither of these functions were even, and neither of these functions were odd. But that is the case with a lot of functions that aren't very clean, pretty, like x squared or x to the fourth. They don't just have even powers. They don't just have odd powers. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, you know what to do.